Uh, today I am going to be just talking about the importance of us looking out for each other. Um, I think it's very easy to you know, think about this tool and this technique and all of these things that we have to do, which are all very, very valuable. But I think as the winter months start drawing in and everything seems to be a little bit up in the air and unclear and people are starting to feel a bit flat at the moment. I've noticed that people are, have lost enthusiasm, they're nervous about what's happening next, uh, getting very conflicting ideas and views thrown at us. So you know, a lot of people are feeling flat, tired, fed up, uh, lacking a little bit of motivation. And I think some of the best things we can do right now it's kindness and it's looking out for each other and looking out for ourselves. It's about ensuring that the people we know are OK and taking some time out to check that they're OK. We have a tendency to go, oh, how are you? And people go, I'm fine. And then you just sort of carry on chatting. But actually, if you ask the question, yeah, how, how are you? How, how are you really? Or just picking out those little signs or if you have a bit of a niggle and you think that person doesn't seem quite so happy then ask them take some time out to have that chat with them and it's not the fact you have to say so how you feel you know, let's talk about your deep feelings and maybe that's where you go but even just taking some time out to have chat to have a laugh to have a bit of fun with that person with the people that you know it goes an awful long way because none of us know what's going on for other people. None of us really know what's going on deep down within them and how they are responding. Some people have had big losses. Some people are missing people that they love because they can't see them. Some people might be feeling very anxious about their health. Other people will have other concerns, worries going on. And we can never second guess what it is everyone is experiencing for themselves. So if somebody is a little bit more irritable or somebody is a little bit more withdrawn, we do have a tendency to believe it's about us. So if somebody is short with us, we think, oh, what have I done? Or they don't like me or something. But actually, quite often it's not about you, it's about them. It's about what they're experiencing, what they're going through. And maybe they're struggling on that day. And sometimes it's really good just to think to yourself, what's that about? Could I just spend a bit of time with that person? And this goes whether you're in talking about your colleagues at work, if you're a manager looking at your, your teams, but also this is in your personal life as well. Check on a neighbour who you know might have been struggling through lockdown. Don't just forget about them now. Ask them how they are. Maybe just give them that few minutes to have a little chat. It's amazing what you can pick up in a, in a small time. And just by offering somebody your time and some laughter and to show you care can have a remarkable response to their emotional well-being. It can raise somebody's mood. It can make someone who's feeling isolated and alone realise that they are noticed and they are seen. And the interesting thing about kindness is it passes on. When you're kind and friendly to somebody, it kind of inspires them to be kind and friendly to someone else. It has this wonderful ripple effect. So what's really important as well is for you to be checking in on yourself, recognising and understanding how you're feeling, maybe what your stress levels are like, what your emotional health is like. Are you struggling today? Are you feeling sad today? Are you feeling overwhelmed? And if you recognise that, wondering what it is that you could do to help yourself. Because we need to have that self-compassion as well as offering compassion out. So by not judging yourself if you're having a difficult day, 
maybe working out different ways in which you can be kind to yourself. Do you have to push on through and ignore the fact you're feeling awful? Or is it okay for you to take half an hour out to go and get some, go and see the sky or go and walk amongst the trees or go and have a cycle ride? Because it's our responsibility to look after ourselves. And I'm not saying to be just thinking of ourselves and no one else at all. It's about doing both. Because if we don't look after ourselves, we're not going to have the energy or the capability to be able to look after others. And if all we're doing is looking after others, we're going to burn out. So it's really important that you get outside, go and see the sky, acknowledge what's going on outside. And if you start to notice those around you are struggling or within yourself, think about what you could do to help. And as I said earlier, help doesn't have to be some huge gesture. It can just be a five minute conversation, a five minutes of chatting, laughing, just really taking an interest and in listening to somebody. Because once you have that connection, you have that connection with others. That in turn raises our emotional well-being on both sides. Not only will that person you've chatted with feel better, so will you. So remember just how important it is that we are looking out for one another. And within the workplace, trying to create a culture of that and families creating a culture of looking out for each other and friends. And if we're able to spread that out within our communities, it means that there'll be less isolation, less lo loneliness. And there is a lovely feeling when you're helping each other, how that ripples out to others. So I really hope that you have someone looking out for you. And I hope you're looking out for yourself too. And take care. See you next week.